Hey guys, welcome back to The Horror of the Horror with the hostess with the mostest, Jennifer, as always. Welcome back, welcome back. So I'm doing another uh, movie review for you guys. I figured I'd do something that is related to Christmas since we've got the holidays coming up. We just have Thanksgiving. I know I talked about Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving. Uh, let's move on to, of course, uh, Christmas. Um... I hopefully will find, uh, I know it's probably going to be a little bit hard, maybe it won't be as hard as I thought, but um, hopefully I'll get to maybe like a Hanukkah movie and a Kwanzaa movie to kind of include everyone, but if I don't, I apologize, but till then you guys, if I do find anything, we are reviewing a Christmas movie, a Christmas movie, we're going to be talking about the 1974 classic, cult classic, Black Christmas. Uh, this is, uh, oh, I love this movie. Uh, so this stars um, Olivia Hussey, Margot Kidder, has a terrific little cast, terrific little story. Uh, really, in my opinion, uh, there may have been, well, there technically was like Psycho and stuff before this, but this really, I feel like, sets uh, the mold for the slasher movement and everything. Like I said, I know there, like, there was like Psycho and stuff before this, but this definitely, I feel like, did the template and everything. Uh, sorry, I know Halloween came out a few years later and that gets all the credit. This deserves more credit than it gets. Uh, this is a, a terrific little movie. Um, I've seen the remake. I'm not the biggest fan of the remake. If you guys like the remake, Awesome for you. I just don't like it. Uh, but we're talking about the original 74 classic. This is a uh, this is a terrific movie. I love it for so many reasons. Um, it's uh, it's a simple story. Uh, I feel like you do uh, get a little bit of like when a stranger calls. I know when a stranger calls came out a few years later, but you know it's like getting those obscene phone calls and everything and all that. It's like creeping these girls out. Plus, you see that there's like other things going on. Uh, within like this sorority house and everything like Olivia's Olivia Hussey's character um, like her and her boyfriend ha are having some problems and everything she found out that she's pregnant she doesn't want the baby the boyfriend does it's kind of like well don't I get a say and she's seen her in case of like well you know I've got I've got ambitions too there are things I want to do too you know before I have kids and he's like well I think we should have him have the baby and everything so little things like that, different, uh, like, situations throughout this movie, uh, different relationships throughout this movie and everything. It's not just, like, you know, um, I feel like it's, it's not necessarily the typical formulaic uh, setup that we would then get years later. Uh, then again, you know, like I said, this was kind of, I feel like this was really kind of, like, the template for the slashers and everything. So it was just kind of free reign to do what you want. Um, but it's, it's a fun, interesting movie, something that I love about this movie. Spoil alert! Uh, then again, you've had, like, 40 years to watch this movie, so if you haven't... Uh, hi! Uh, something that I do like about this movie is that we don't know who the killer is. There is a little bit of, uh, red herring? Not red herring. Uh, but a little bit of like a, a curveball. You think someone else is actually the killer, uh, but we come to find out. Mm -mm -mm. No, we never actually figure out who the killer is, why the killer did what uh, you know he did. Uh, that's that's the only thing we only know that this is the killer was a male. Like that's all we know about the killer, you know. Um, but it's a, it's a good good movie. And I was actually watching this the other night. Uh, you know, to kill. To kill blah, 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 blah kick off the uh, Christmas season, and it was weird, because, like, I've seen this movie several times, love this movie, and it, it's interesting, because I was kind of thinking, like, wow, like, they never did a sequel to this movie or anything, which maybe is a is a good thing that we didn't get a sequel, I'm kind of glad we didn't, because, like I said, you, it leaves you hanging, and you're like, you know, once again, we don't know who the killer is, what the motive was, maybe he was just a sick weirdo, but it's interesting because I feel like it, it had certain things that you could have set up to do a sequel um, and do different things like that. Uh, something that I even, like, crossed my mind was, like, oh, my God. Like, what if they did something where, like, Halloween was, like, 
the sequel, like the first Halloween, because like I said, Olivia Hussey's um, character is pregnant. We find out that she's pregnant and everything. And it's like, what if, what if it comes to find out that like, you know, she gave birth to like Michael Myers or something. And then like her mom or the baby's mom, like told told him about what happened one night in college. And then in turn, we end up getting like Michael Myers. Like that's just a weird little fan theory. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. I mean, I'm the same girl who's like obsessively, like always thinking about sleepaway camp and like the Angela character and all those characters. I know that's so far fetched and so out there, you guys. I know. So please. Spare me the comments of, like, that is so stupid. I know it's out there. But like I said, it's, you know, it's one of those things where because I've seen this movie a few times, it's like I started to kind of, like, think about it. The wheels were turning a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any, like, fan theories about this? Any crazy fan theories about this? You guys know I would love to hear that. Whether it's this movie or any movie that I review, always let me know if you guys have some little, like, theories about stuff, because I'm always interested in that stuff. But anyway, so off the point, back to Black Christmas. But yeah, no, so we, uh, you know, I feel like it's a it's a good little movie. Um, I feel like by today's standards, because I know the remake, uh, it's been forever since I've seen the remake, and I've only watched it once, because uh, I don't like it. I, I know, like, the remake actually says and gives a reasoning to like the killer who the killer is why the killer is the way he is why he's doing what he does um i feel like though with something like this if you were to do it today uh people well i feel like they have done it today with like something like munger road like we kind of partially know what happened and that uh kind of who the killer was but we don't really know necessarily the motive uh what do you guys think like i feel like this is something that just people wouldn't be able to do it. I feel like people will, you do this today, don't tell who the killer is, don't give any motive. People are like, oh, that's stupid, that's stupid. I personally kind of like that, because it's like, you know, unlike Michael Myers, um, you know, who technically is still out there, this is truly like, the killer in here truly is still out there. We don't even know what this guy looks like, because they never show his face, so it's like... I think that's a bit scarier. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys like this movie? Do you like the ending to it? What do you prefer? Uh, do you like the original compared to, or I should say, do you like the original? Or do you like the uh, remake more? Let me know, you guys. Uh, you know, I always value your opinions, your thoughts, and everything. But until next time, you guys, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.